Have you ever wanted a controller overlay like this on your two PC streaming setup? It's actually pretty easy to do, so be sure to stick around and find out how. All right, the first step is gonna be choosing an application that can take in your controller's inputs and output them as a source that you can use for your overlay. The main two options are gonna be Gamepad Viewer. You will have seen this all over different streams on YouTube, Twitch, wherever it might be. Uh, this is the most common website used for this. Uh, and then on the other hand, you have DSX. This is the application that I use in order to use my DualSense controller. Um, and on the actual controller tab here, we have Gamepad Skin, which allows you to turn on that green screen, which in OBS, you can then add the filter, a chroma key, uh, and have that clear background. As I said, I'm personally using DSX. So for the rest of this tutorial, I'll be showing it through that application, but just know overall, it's basically the same process. So this is gonna be the most important part of this tutorial. We need to go and download the Distro AV plugin for OBS. So we're gonna click on this link. I will put it in the bio below. Um, we're here. We are going to go to downloads and then we'll scroll down and you'll find Distro AV 6 Windows X64 installer. You'll click on that, follow through with the installation. You're also going to need to download NDI Runtime 6. You can search that up. It's nice and easy to find. With this being a two PC setup, you need to download this plugin on your gaming PC as well as your streaming PC. With all that installed, you're now going to go to your network and internet. Um, personally, I use an ethernet cable, so I will be looking under that tab. If you're using Wi-Fi, just follow along there. Um, but you'll click into here, and a really important piece is that you set it up as a private network, not a public network. In order for the two PCs to communicate with each other, it needs to be on private. You might run into issues there. I did sometimes, it's kind of a little bit finicky. Uh, you might have to turn off the firewall on the gaming PC for it to send out that signal for your streaming PC. So with all of that downloaded now, if you go to the tools dropdown, you should see distro AV NDI settings. And as long as you have the main output clicked, everything should be good. Hit OK. Um, then I'm going to create a source. So this is going to be what I'm trying to send to my other computer. For us in this specific scenario, we are just trying to send the controller overlay. Um, so for this specific scenario, once again, this is DSX. If you did gamepad viewer rather than a window capture here, it would just be a browser source. The last really important piece here on the gaming PC is that this scene, we are going to hit filters. And then when you go add a filter, you will see dedicated NDI output. Um, so making sure that you have that here, hit apply changes. And then this game PC should now be outputting that signal to your streaming PC. All right, so we're over on the streaming PC now. So all that I'm gonna do is go into my sources, go add new source, NDI source. As long as I did those downloads, that NDI source option should be there. Uh, we'll create a new one just for the sake of doing it. When I hit the drop down, you will see ENS PC OBS or dedicated NDI output. I'll click that here, it pops up excellently. So that is great. I might resize it using Alt in my mouse just to shrink it in. Um, and then the last piece, right? Obviously I don't want this big green background. Cool thing about OBS, we have all these filters. So I'm gonna hit filters, we're gonna go effect filters and do our chroma key. From here, it's already on green, but you'll notice there's still a little bit of green peeking through that filter. So I'm just gonna turn up color spill reduction uh, and maybe just the smoothness ever so slightly. You can see that we're changing a lot with that. So just subtle amounts, we're gonna adjust it. And then now we have a beautiful controller overlay ready for our streams. Hopefully this video has helped you with your goal of setting up a controller overlay on a two PC streaming setup. Um, I know that this was a little bit of a nightmare for me at first when I was figuring it out, but now that it works, it's fantastic. I know the viewers in my streams really enjoy it. Uh, and if you're somebody that's curious and hopping in our streams in the future, we stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays playing primarily Apex Legends. Uh, on Sundays, we do viewer streams. So if you wanna have the opportunity to play with me and my friends, uh, there's your opportunity. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this overlay though. It's not overly complicated and it works well. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop that like, hit the sub button, and we will see you next time. Have a good one. Peace.